Greetings, greetings, and um, welcome to night. My name is Albert Mazelisa. How are you doing? This is the episode of uh, Albert Mazelisa show here tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You are tuned in. I am joined tonight. I will, I'm going to speak with. Uh, the promoter, uh, Pastor Steve Mpof, who is the promoter who is bringing our dear, powerful artist, uh, um, I, I, would, I would call him evangelist, pastor, minister, uh, and his wife, Ellen Cherai. Say, how are you doing? I am blessed, Bob Mazbisa. How are you? And also to your viewers that have connected to my greetings in the name of Jesus. I, I, I thought let me talk to you first before we bring uh, we bring uh, the minister and his wife uh, on, on, on on live and then let's let's get to know we are, we have known Rainbow Entertainment for years you have done big shows you, you, you we know where you came from you have done great successful shows here in the United Kingdom tell us a little bit about that journey before we talk about two, 2022. It is humbling to, to hear such feedback. I really appreciate it, uh, Minister Mazbis. And also, I want to appreciate you for, for the work that you are doing and the support that you are giving to, to the artists known, unknown, upcoming, and also to the support that you are giving to the supporters, uh, promoters in UK, not only Rainbow, but other promoters around. You are doing a great job. So we just really want to commend you and say, well done keep doing the good work that you're doing, man of God. Um, we, we are so privileged. I think for us, we, we are in an advantageous situation because you are my neighbor, number one, and I have <laughs> known you for a long time. And, and it's like you are the one who was watching the baby grow. And yes, you, you, you've been there from the start, Minister Masbise, and uh, the lows and the highs and your encouragement as well really it, it is those things that you have done that really have helped us to sail and go through and have the opportunity to do the work that we have done so yes we thank god for for all that we have done uh, to a point where we are today so to, to god be the glory so we, we were on a break for two years <laughs> two years of silence <laughs> that, was, that was serious Baba, because you know we are just wondering what next because those are the questions that we are asking ourselves, not only promoters, but to the people that are in the creative industry. Because yes. then that's the question that's been asked, then what do we do from here? But God being God and being faithful, and uh, look at what he has done, Baba. We are so excited. Yes, sir. Um, so this time around, we, we have heard you have brought this past, uh, doctor to me before. Yes. Right, it was you. We brought us Doctor Tubi. You you brought us uh, uh, Bishop Benjamin Dube before, and this time round you're bringing them again. Uh, what's the catch? What's the story? Why? Uh, and then we we'll talk about Minister Elliot and, and, and Sharon. I, I think I think it's the timing of God because we we we, we have, as you know, we have hosted quite a lot of uh, uh, prominent artists in the UK. And we've just been asking ourselves now, which direction do we go from here? So we've been really praying, asking God that after the, the COVID era, you know, even if it's still here, but it's going to pass, what mm -hmm. do we do and how do we progress? So we've really been praying about it. And I thank God that when I had the opportunity to be in South Africa to host a, a Dr. Dumi, you know, another event that we did in Johannesburg, it was a success. And, and I felt it so heavy in my heart that, you know what, the work that you do here in UK, in South Africa, we want a taste of that as well in the United Kingdom. So I just dropped it to him and I said, Dr. Dumi, would you consider coming to the United Kingdom? And I was so amazed because the response was a simple response that I didn't expect that. And he said to me, man of God, whatever you want me to do, just go and make the way I am ready to come. So that's how it all started. So we waited and prayed and when we started to see things changing and the doors opening in UK, I, I just called him and I say, Minister, are you ready? Things seemingly are coming to, to, to place. And he just said, anytime. And if I'm coming to UK, I will not just come, but I want to come there and make it special and do a recording for you. And I was blown away 
just mm. when you say that. So that's what makes it different when you talk about Dr. Stumi coming back to the United Kingdom. Wonderful. We, 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 uh, we have got um, Minister Ellard uh, and his wife, Sharon Cherai, uh, on standby. Um, connections are a bit playing up for us. But uh, tell us, uh, out of all the artists in, in the whole of Zimbabwe, the popular, the big, uh, the good, the bad, everybody, you know, how did the Spirit of God say it? This one, what happened? What was the problem? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, 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 that's a, a tricky question you know, because I work with quite a lot of, of artists from all over, the, not all over the globe, in different countries. Mm -hmm. uh, and assignments are, are different as well, Baba. Right, uh, right. And, and uh, when, when I look at, at, at our home countries in Baba, there's quite a lot of good artists, excellent artists, and some are upcoming. But it's difficult to know who to pick. But I thank God that uh, in our life, God brought in the man of God from Marlboro, my dear friend and my good pastor, uh, Elias Masamba, who I now I, consider I, him to be our Simon Cowell. The man has got an eye, he's got an ear, and he knows what's going on in Zimbabwe. And he is the man who is making our lives at rainbow very easy because when mm. i when i say baba this is the assignment and he says i know who you need so god is using him so mightily and i just want to publicly on this platform appreciate pastor elias masamba for the great work that he is doing for the artists in zimbabwe you know he identifies them he brings them up and we open the door for them and we allow them to come on these platforms so we thank god for pastor masamba so i say to all artists in in zim you really need to find this man <laughs> uh, thank thank you so much he's, he's also a, a, a singer in, a himself as well you know that dude I, I didn't know that. You see, he kept that secret <laughs> private. <laughs> I, 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 would have, I would have to surprise him one day in one of the events. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make a coup on this event and just brought him on stage. Give him a microphone. You see how, how good he is. We will surprise him, Baba. Now that you've shared that, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Anyway, we are we are joined here by the the power couple. Uh, I, I was saying to you to, uh, earlier on, how did you land on these ones in particular? And so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you out of studio, let you go and do other things uh, in uh, behind the scenes. But say one or two words before you before you go before you leave us here, because we'll be talking about you and we'll be talking about the event that you are planning. That's right. <laughs> I, I am I am so excited and humbled really to have. Uh, Minister Ellard and uh, and Mama Shirai uh, Sharon joining uh, the event in March, and I want to say to the UK family, this is one event that you don't want to miss. I just love this couple. You know, you just fall in love with them. You know, their ministry has got such a, a, an anointing that it connects you, that it draws you. So you are highly favored. So I'm calling out to all the people in UK that. Please, you have got to come and see this couple. Yes, I know you're coming for Dr. Dumi, but you have got to come and see this couple because God is using them so mightily. They've been in the industry for a long time and they are now taking a different journey and God is elevating them. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait, Baba. I cannot wait. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Wonderful and powerful words. We say goodbye to you. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> we'll talk later. God bless you, man of God. Bye now. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I, now I, I take my focus to, uh, to, to, to the couple. Let me see if I can remove. Aha! Here we go. Let's do this. And uh, I need to unmute you. Unmute you again because they are close. They just close there. You need to unmute. We, we can, ah, can that's you wonderful. Us? Now I can hear you. So before we start. Tell me the secret behind that smile that you always wear. All the time, you are always smiling. Whether you are singing, whether you are talking, you are always smiling. What's the secret behind that smile? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that internet will, will favor us here. <laughs> Sorry. Can, can yes, you, can you are back. Okay. Yeah, you're back now. All right. About the smile. Um, I, I, I think she's she's the one. <laughs> 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 I, 
unless unless you're telling me that she has always been there because when I saw you, you were always you were already smiling. So <laughs> has she always been there before the smile? Right, you're back again. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. forgive us, uh, you know, the connection in Zimbabwe because they are in Zimbabwe. Yes, yeah. of course, they're coming here to minister here. So the connection, you know what it does. Uh, so we bear with you. We bear with you. Oh, we are happy to see you smiling and happy. Let me give you an opportunity to speak while you're still there. Yes, thank you so much, um, um, uh, Pastor Mazisa. It, it, it's good to see you um, <laughs> together with my wife. We are so honored uh, to to be uh, gracing the UK in March. Um, we're so honored uh, to the Lord first and foremost, and also to Rainbow Entertainment. Uh, Pastor Steve um, Paulfu, we are so honored together with his team. Um, that he, he invited us to come together with my wife to minister. Um, I'm super, super excited. I'm very, very much excited. And I honestly cannot wait um, to, to be there. And uh, by the grace of the Lord, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. And we have a lot of things uh, to, 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 to give to 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 our fans in, in, in Canada, in uh, our fans in the UK, uh, we have a lot. And, <laughs> We're in the UK. Uh, we cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, we cannot wait. <laughs> you want to say something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what is important for us is the fact that you have actually confirmed that you are going to be here, you are, going, you are coming, and that is what is more important. All the other questions, they are just extra. So everything is set. You are set to come to the United Kingdom the 5th of March, ministering on the same stage with, with Dr. Tumi. Picked by, uh, you know how Pastor Steve was explaining it. And I was asking yeah. him, out of the whole Zimbabwe, the big, the small, the famous, the known and the unknown, they picked you. Yeah. Why? How? What's you that feeling? That, what, what happened? That's the, most, <laughs> that's the most humbling thing ever. You know, when you look at it and then you, you look at other names, you look at other artists here in Zimbabwe who have made uh, strides, who have... I've uh, done so many things and then you you look at yourself and then you say I think I'm not worthy to be to be um, Selected in this, you know But you know, that's what the grace of God does and we are truly truly humbled and we're so honored um, uh, To pastor Steve for for just also picking us, you know uh, um, I, I remember when I when I received the phone call I was like, wow, are you seriously asking me and my wife, you know, when there are other people who are even better than us, you know, but by the grace of the Lord, we are so honored and we are so humbled. This is a special, special moment for, for me and my wife because we have never traveled to the UK to, together as, as independent artists. Uh, we have been to the UK before. Uh, I've been to the UK before coming to minister and sharing the stage again with Dr. Tumi. But by the grace of God, um, this time uh, I'm, I'm going to be there with my wife as well. So it's, it's actually amazing. Awesome. Uh, now, uh, a little bit of information. 2012, Sharon, uh, Mayongani said that joins a Zim praise. There's this little girl on stage, she was on fire. I can't remember the song you were singing, it was like an explosion. Like, <laughs> uh, now 2014, then we saw this young man, Elad, again on the Zim praise stage. And, He's just, uh, like I was saying, all smiles. And maybe because he had already seen Sharon already. So <laughs> so tell us that experience. Moving from there, now you are 
independent artists yes. and you're traveling to come to the UK. Uh, tell us that experience, that journey, that little journey. Uh, a little bit. Take us a little bit into that. Okay, about the journey in Zimpres. Um, obviously, as you said, she joined Zimpres in 2012. I joined Zimpres in 2014. Uh, Zimpres was a, a really good platform for us. Um, joining because the year that I joined in 2014, that's the year that we came to the UK. Um, they were coming for the third time visit. I yeah. think it was the third time. But it was for me the first time. It was it was amazing. Um, we learned a lot. That's where I saw her. I saw her in Zimpres. Um and and I, I knew it to, to say, <laughs> God, that one, that one, God, if you give me that one, that I'm one in Jesus' that. name. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, um, we. We got married in 2017 by the grace of the Lord. That platform uh, was, was a learning platform for us and it shaped us into who we are today and we're so grateful. Um, and by the grace of the Lord, um, we left in 2019 because hey, Wakuru, there is a saying that the, the, the elderly say here, uh, they say, eh, 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 so that's what we did. Um, we grew up, we started our own thing uh, as well. So these days we are we're just pushing our brand, me and my wife, and um, that's where we are. Thank you. Tell me about, about New Dawn, because I've seen that you've done songs with New Dawn, you've done songs with Faith, uh, Kingdom, Life Center, and uh, yeah, New New Dawn Kingdom Life Center. You've done quite a lot of songs with them. Tell me a little bit about that. Is yeah, that your church? Are you not? Um, oh. Go ahead. Yeah, New New Dawn is a is a project that we we embarked on um, last year uh, together with 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 um, with certain somebody, um, and then we we co-founded the, um, the whole New Dawn Zimbabwe group. Um, we did a live DVD last year um, together with some kids about a, a membership of about 35, 32, 35 people. And um, it was it was amazing. It was beautiful. Um, it was uh, one of uh, an experience that I'll, I'll never forget in my life. That was around August. And then around October, November, from the church that we fellowship at, uh, we did a live DVD with the praise and worship team uh, at AFM of Zimbabwe, uh, Kingdom Life Center, and um, Bishop Makarichi. Um, he, he gave us a platform and then he said, you guys, I know what you can do. I'm going to give you a platform. Please um, do this and let's do this. And then that's where you saw maybe some of the, uh, the, the songs that we did that have been going around like the you are Yahweh, we did some hymn, and then there's a hymn that I did, Hakuna Zita Sarah Jesu. She also did the report Sime. She also did songs like Intende on that um, live DVD, and it was really amazing. Um, so that's th those are the two major, major groups that we worked with um, last year into, into this year. Awesome. Um, I would want to talk to you. Maybe when you come here, we we'll, would we'll talk more about your relationship, the two of you. And later on, I, okay. I will ask you to do a song because I, I'm struggling to choose here. Who is my favorite? Is my favorite Sharon? Is my favorite Ellen? Or is my favorite both of you together? Now, I don't know. <laughs> so I've got three artists here <laughs> to pick which one is the favorite. But I like, I think that, the one when you are two is just too powerful. You know? <laughs> Actually, we, we, that's, that's what we, we are working on um, in next year. And that's what we are bringing to the UK. Um, awesome. For awesome. so many times on stage, you have seen me as, as, an, as a separate artist. For so many times, you have seen her doing songs as a separate artist. But in the UK, trust me, you're going to see both of us uh, never to have been seen ever. Um, just, there are just some few times we've shared the stage back here home in Zimbabwe. We've never done that a lot. 
uh, people, they, they, they really um, love us to do something together. But for, for you guys, UK is going to be special because we're going to start it in UK. We're going to give you songs that we are doing currently in, uh, together. We're going to do them in the UK. It's going to be amazing. And may I can't wait. When they, there's a photo that I posted today on my wall. Um, when I'm looking at her and, and I wrote a caption, which was like, uh, it's the way that I look at her. You know, when we're on stage, we have this, <laughs> This chemistry man of God, you know, it's it's amazing. Um, there's there's something that you said um, about working with a person that has the same passion as you, and yeah, yeah. And in my case, I've been blessed to be one of the few uh, to have somebody to share somebody on stage who who is gifted in a way that you just look at and then you just marvel and say, God. How, what, what did I ever do to deserve something like this? And in the UK, <clears throat> trust me, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so, so, so that, <clears throat> that's just awesome right there. Uh, I understand you are, you are a pastor, you are a minister. So there's this young girl, there's a young boy who is, who, who is dreaming. Because how did you pray? And this question will go to both of you. Did you pray or just God said, you know, I love you, my son. Uh, this is your portion. I'm giving you to her and, and like that. Or did you pray fasted, went to the mountain for you to get him or for you to get her? Now, who's starting? <laughs> now, I think, they, I, th I think the network was afraid of that question. Now, oh, they, they are back. They are back. <laughs> Yeah, you can continue, sir. Yeah. So I was saying, how did you did you pray, or it, it just happened? Because when we look at you at stage, I'm wondering, are you at home? Do you even cook? Do you have time to cook, or you just be singing? What what happens? Because your voice is blend so well, it means there must be practice all the time. So I, I put too many things in one. What do you want to say? Your your your. your the union, the two of you, did you pray? What happened? What is the experience? Are you enjoying the ride so far? Oh, definitely, yes. We are enjoying the ride. Uh, I must say about uh, the singing part at home, our neighbors don't even know that we are musicians. They don't even hear us uh, because we don't sing at all. Most of the times, we just live a normal life. Mm. We don't want to make noise. <laughs> <laughs> we just want people to be happy. We, we want happy neighbors, you know, because then here, if you make noise, they'll call police on you. So we just like, we don't do much about uh, much music at home. Though we do have some moments where he starts a song and I just don't go die out here and there. And I start a song and harmonize it together with me. But uh, we live a normal life. Uh, we, we're just normal people. We probably no pets are shungu when we are on stage most of the time that's when you see we do our things passionately because when we find the time and we are on stage everything is set we just do it day right there and right on that at that moment we live in the moment i guess if i should say that way that's beautiful uh how about you sir <laughs> um yeah as, as, as she said um we we the way we met uh, i think let me just address the first question um uh, i saw her on tv like i said like you said we're going to talk more about it when we when we get there um i saw her on tv uh, back when i was in chinoy um, i actually saw it was a live dvd in praise one and i saw her performing and and i was like god if you give me that one that one God, ah, you Jesus, have done, you have done something for me. So, fast forward, the month came, and then I finally got an opportunity. And I remember the first thing that I, I said to her when I got an opportunity to sit down with her like this, I, I told her I want to marry you. I, I, I said it point blank. I said I want to marry you. I want you to be the mother of my children. And then I said, Do you want? And then she said, e <laughs> Do <I> die? <laughs> no. So, from there. I think one of the things that um, the background that I come from and also the background where she comes from, we come from a background where 
we are taught to pray you know we are taught to to have a life of um of of of, of prayer devoting yourself to god all the time um and and that really helped us i remember one time when we were in a relationship she would fast and she would pray for our relationship for our marriage for our wedding um so that things would move on well and um uh, that is that is the word that i would give to somebody who is watching right now maybe a young girl who is watching a young boy who is watching um the bible says uh, um the 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 uh, the, the scripture, the, the, the words that they, they are leaving me, but but the scripture simply says that just devote your life to God, yeah. and He will guide all your path. You you make sure that He will lead you in in every way. That He will lead you to the right person. Um, as you asked, we are truly truly enjoying. We are having a wonderful time. I love my wife. We 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 enjoy men of God. I was telling some some couple of friends recently, and I was saying to them, "Ha! I think marriage, if it's sweet like this, I I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Especially when you have somebody that has the same passion as you, and and that's where we are coming from. And we are so so grateful to God um, for that. Awesome. Now. <clears throat> Um, let's leave that one. We'll talk. We'll find some time to talk about that when you when you are here. I think I think I'm going to I'm going to host you in my house sometime when you are here. We need we need to talk more uh, because I think we have got a lot of uh, of of young people who are gifted and talented. Because when you are on stage, there are some people who shy away from ministering. Uh, if you see Sister Sharon standing on stage, she's not standing there to be seen by Brother Ellen, but by standing there, she's actually seen. She didn't stand there for that, but when you stand there to minister, you are then seen by somebody who is in Chinoy, and somebody is in Chinoy who is already starting to pray about you. So there's something about the benefits of just ministering to God. Amen. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's 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 get into to 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 the the fifth of March. How much does this mean to you? What should people expect? I want you to speak to people because I have discovered that people in the UK, they love you. So what are you going to give them? What can you promise them that on this day, because we have seen you before, yeah, you've been here numerous times. So we are thinking, okay, so what are they going to give us when they come? You know, take us into that. Yeah, th thank you so much for that question. Um, o obviously, you know, whenever a person would, would, would see a poster and they are seeing the tickets, that, that is there, they're seeing the amount, obviously they'll start uh, doing uh, economics, opportunity cost. What is it that I'll forego for me to gain this, you know? Um, what is it that I'll gain when I, when I exchange the value of my money for, for these guys? And I'm, I'm super excited because not only are we are we also god has given us an opportunity to share the stage with one of the uh, most incredible and renowned uh, gospel musician of our time uh, in in dr tumi it's 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 purely humbling it's i don't know how to describe it you know sharing the stage with such a musician is just uh, awesome it's just it's it's a it's a it's a dream come true for certain artists, mm -hmm. and for us to be given that opportunity is just amazing. Awesome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, as I'm waiting for the for them to reconnect again, I'm just going to visit and 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 greet some people that are in the comments section. Right there, Pastor Evangelist uh, uh, Truth Piri, uh, uh, all the way in Belize, right there. All the, you are back. Let me just appreciate yeah, yeah, a few yeah. people that are expressing their love for you. Um, Timothy Nguenya, a promoter in the UK as well, he's here. Uh, Hope Kondo Music, she's an artist. You know Antoinette, don't you? She, her name is called Antoinette Maben. I think she's excited to have you here. She now lives here. Uh, used to work together in Zim Praise. And um, Fudia Karo, I can't read that one. Uh, Anton says my people. Anton says my people. Mukunga just says greetings. Uh, shalom greetings. You don't have to tell us twice. I think about is about how how what makes you smile. Uh, Minister Elad, Pastor Elad, Evangelist Elad, 
prophet Elad, what makes you smile? Anthony is saying, we know it's Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and beauty, as Gongile says, a short not to be missed. You see, people are expectant. They can't mix their smiles. Beautiful greetings, Minister. Always only person I know who sings and smiles. I, I think I also smile. I, I, am I too serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my machinery is glowing. Uh, well done. Uh, we love it. We love you. Both are awesome, uh, and I, I'll, 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 pull, I'll tag this one so that you can see it. See the name of the person. Sharon's voice is electronic. I am telling you, the first time I saw Sharon on stage, I can't remember the song she was singing. I said, "My goodness me!" It's like she was angry with the devil. I, I'm sure, I'm sure there was havoc in, in hell. They were saying, "Who is that one?" <laughs> I, 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 I'll post this one. I will not say it. This is from a very powerful uh, pastor. He's a missionary in uh, in Belize. Powerful man of God. I love him so much. A powerful teacher of the word of God. Uh, wow. And Pastor Steve is saying we are excited. Uh, he is excited. He's the promoter. He's excited to have you. Even when he was telling me about you coming, he was saying, Baba, I, I need to talk to you. I need, Baba. And I, <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> He was so excited about having you. And um, Pastor Jen Doka there says, not powerful. You know Pastor Jen Doka, one of our powerful yeah. artists here in the United Kingdom. Now, um, what I'm going to do, uh, I, I wanted to ask you about, I know you graduated recently. Did you graduate to become an, a bishop or to become a, an apostle, a pastor? Are you a pastor or... What was the graduation about? <laughs> okay, um, I, I, I recently graduated to be um, um, a pastor. Um, mm -hmm. So um, currently, I'm under you know under probation in in our in our system from where I fellowship. So we we are both under probation currently um, mm -hmm. before we are ordained to be to be pastors. Powerful. Now that 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 empowers me to then ask you to minister to people. Uh, when I give you the time for about five minutes, there'll be people that are expecting to be ministered to by God. Because when I look at you, even when I see you ministering, you can see the grace that is upon your life and an anointing, an unusual anointing that is upon your life. It's not just about singing. It there is a heart for ministry that is inside there so i want to give people an opportunity to test uh, something else that is beyond music that is inside of you but before i do that there's a question here posted by pastor jane Doka. she says uh mrs sharon manyonga is a cherai as she wrote all the names tinoita say if we want you to feature on a song i'm sure everybody would want to feature you so what do we do do we pray do we fast do we send our application to God? What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of no need for that. Or you just get in touch with me. I guess we can just put our, our details so that whoever wants to get in touch with us can just inbox us on either WhatsApp or, or Messenger or just as a straight call. Uh, it's not even a difficult process for us to be featured with anyone's um, album or a song, to have a song together, collaboration together. It's not even a difficult thing at all. We can just talk. Of course, there are two other things. I probably would then want to know about the artists, where they are, their background check and stuff. But I don't think it's a problem for us to be to do a collaboration with artists. We love, I love collaborations a lot. And I love doing work with other people. It shows that people are appreciating what you're doing and people appreciate the work that you do in the kingdom. So anytime, Mrs. Jane Orca, please get in touch with me, you know. You know, you know where to call me, huh? So yeah, it's 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 amazing. Jendoka has never asked me to do a collaboration with her, and now <laughs> she sees Sharon. All of a sudden, she wants a collaboration. Hey, Jesus! <laughs> uh, uh, this is a lovely comment there. I, I don't know if you can see it. Wonderful couple. I love yeah, them can. so much. The way they minister together. I was telling you the way you minister together. It's more than just singing. You know that these people are on stage. It's more than just 
we are singing together. It's, it's, it's the heart, it's the passion. Uh, and, and I'm sure that's what touches a lot of people. And this is one of my people, Tatenda Mukudoka. Uh, wonderful. She supports a lot of artists. It's beautiful. Anyway, before I leave you, Pastor Cherai, to, to minister to us uh, before we go, I would want to, uh, to hear your last words, last words from Mama, last words from you, before we start talking about ministering to people. We want to hear what you want to say to people. Those that are thinking, I need not square then, or those that are thinking, I have to be just another show. What do you want to say? Your own words inviting people to come. And I see we've got, we still got Pastor Steve in the studio. Pastor Steve, if you can hear me, I then want one, one word or two words from you. Uh, if you've got a question for them, uh, please do so in the next two minutes so that I ask them and then we'll go to be ministered to. Um, excited to have you in the UK. Kunenge Kuchifaya. Uh, this is Tinashi Mark says Kunega Kuchifa and Kunega Kuchito Fire or Reshua. And I want to say to you, uh, you are representing the whole of Zimbabwe. You know how Zimbabwe is big. You know how we have got big artists. You know how we've got anointed ministers and artists. You are the ones who are standing on that stage raising the flag of Zimbabwe. It's no pressure, no pressure, but but <laughs> but we are expecting fireworks. We are expecting to see, I don't know, smoke coming from wherever. I don't know what's going to happen. Wonderful couple <laughs> indeed. Hope we'll be able to share stage with, with you same day. You are my favorite couple. Stay strong. Yeah. Keep pushing. I'll, yeah. I'll add this one so that you can see it wow. for you. Wow. So before before I go to Pastor Steve, Mama, Mama Chere. <laughs> Mama Chere. Mama Chere too. too. <laughs> What, what's your word? What would you want to say to the people in the UK? The 5th of March, what, what do you want to say to them? Okay, guys, wherever you are, we are inviting you to, uh, to come and be a part of this uh, beautiful, beautiful day. It's going to be uh, on the 5th of March. We cannot wait to be there because we know for a fact that it's going to be an amazing day. So we would like to share this um, experience with you guys all over the UK. So wherever you are, if you haven't purchased the ticket yet, please do. If you have friends, your, uh, your, your loved ones, spouses, relatives, moms, dads, sisters, brothers, just if you feel you cannot go, if you've got shifts at work, just get a ticket for someone else so that they can get a time to be in the presence of we know for a fact that the Lord is going to be present. His presence is going to be might on that day and we cannot wait to have that experience together with you and also with the artists that are going to be there, some known and some unknown. We cannot wait to come and meet up with you guys and we cannot wait to share the same uh, this, this experience with you guys. So I cannot really say much. Just be expectant. We know for we on that day. Not only are we there to minister to people, but we also want God to minister to our lives. So it's going to be a ministry, uh, a, an experience for for every one of us. So just come in your numbers, grab a ticket for someone, just bless someone with the ticket. Come from afar, come from close by, come from Birmingham. Just let's come and have a good time in the presence of the Lord. We cannot wait to see you guys. Wow, I just I just love seeing you together. I I'll ask uh, 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 Doctor Steve here. I I will have to give him titles for my favors to work. You know, I'll ask Doctor Steve here, Professor Steve here, uh, <laughs> to to arrange maybe a day that we just do a couples thing where you just answer. You know, young people when they look at you, you know, couple goals. I think if we can do that and just gather a few people, we just answer some question and inspire young people. I'll leave that on the side. I, I know that I, I know that Pastor Steve, Doctor Steve, Professor, you sort something out for us. <laughs> uh, Pastor Cherai, before we then leave time to uh, Pastor Steve, and then we'll come back to you to share the word and just encourage people for five minutes. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say that uh, Scripture says, "Where two or more are gathered in my name, I will be there." Um, we we are so. I, we have this assurance that the presence of the Lord indeed will be there. The sick are going to be healed. Uh, the, the broken-hearted are going to be to be to be you know healed. Uh, 
those that, that are depressed, those that are looking for answers, those that have been praying for so many things that they've been praying for and they've not been happening. I have an assurance and I'm, I'm here to give you that assurance that that day is, it's going to be amazing. The presence of the Lord is going to be there. The Bible says God will not allow us to get in a place and then leave that place the same. So I believe that the way that you will come into that place is not the same way that you leave. So mm -hmm. grab a ticket, please. Tell somebody about it. You know, us as Africans, we want to leave things in the last moment. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to purchase tickets, you know, around <laughs> February, you know. No, 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 On no. the day. Oh, on the day. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, there's, 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 there's this statement that keep said in the afternoon. Keep said that the venue can only take up to so much, you know. Mm -hmm. So if it can only take up to so much, it means that you have to get your ticket as early as you can. Mm -hmm. Just just grab it now, you know. Mm -hmm. In this festive season, uh, bless someone as a gift and tell them that I already bought a, a, a ticket for you and you know you're, you're going to have a wonderful time. Here you go, this is your gift, you know. Mm -hmm. A person who would, would truly appreciate it and then they'll say, wow, that, that is amazing. Thank you so much for that. So, Please buy your ticket now, now, now. If you look at the, the fly and you see the yellow bears, what, what, grab your ticket as early as you can. Mm -hmm. And God surely will bless you on the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so, Pastor, Pastor Steve, you can see that that, that couple's thing is got, is got favorites. Yeah, from international, they are saying, do it online. We want to hear it as well. So, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we are joined here by by the promoter himself. Uh, you were talking about tickets, uh, my brother. Uh, there, you're talking about tickets. I can tell you that the problem with uh, rainbow events, they sell out. So if you leave it to say on the day, on the day, you would think that people have got the devil when they are selling, saying to you, we no longer have tickets for you. So you better do it now. Right now, if you grab your early bed tickets, they are cheaper. On the day, you cannot negotiate and say, how come others bought it cheaper? I want it cheaper also. On the day, they will be expensive. If you leave it until then, that's if they are still there. So do it now and make sure that you've got your ticket. All artists in the U UK, remember what we said when we had Dr. Toomey here. We said we are all buying VIP tickets so that we have got our own special time with Dr. Toomey. And... Uh, uh, training whatever ask questions and now we add on top of that minister uh Ellard on top i am telling you these people are successful they just came in now they are more popular than me i have been in the industry <laughs> before they were born so i need to know what did they do you know <laughs> what did they do so i need to ask them those questions how come you just come today and <laughs> Boom! All of a sudden, I, you need to ask those questions face to face. Anyway, let me <laughs> let me leave to 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 Pastor Steve. Pastor Steve, what have you got to say to these guys? <laughs> I, I, I must say, Pastor Elliot and Mama Sharon, we are so excited. We are looking forward. We are so expectant. You, you know, because you 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 don't understand what you are carrying. Mm -hmm. you, you know but what, what god has deposited in you is gonna do a lot of wonders on the 5th of march I we will know. be coming out in numbers and 2020 and 19 has been so hectic for almost all of us and mm -hmm. the gratitude tour we are coming before god to say thank you some of us mm -hmm. we have lost our loved ones some of us we lost mm -hmm. jobs and some of us, our lives are changed completely. But you know what? God has handpicked you for that event. And as people come, you will be the vehicle that God is going to use you to minister to the people. So, like as my pastor Masvisa was saying last time, that we are not asking for people to come and support. We are saying to the people, God is waiting for you at a place where you're going to get your blessing. So whosoever misses out, you know, some of these blessings cannot be replaceable. So we are so excited. We are praying and we are trusting God. We are trusting God. And again, like his brother Kid said, the number, the venue can only take limited numbers and God only knows who he needs for the night. So we are praying for you. We are fasting that God will anoint you because, you know, the gift that is upon you is, is so authentic and it is so tangible and the enemy already is in trouble. 
So uh, I, I don't know what else to say. When, 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 when I heard that, as Baba was saying, I was like, Baba, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> because so, some things you cannot plan, and this is right. what God has done. We, we, we thank God, sir. We thank God. Um, uh, thank you so much. And like, like what we said, when, when they come here, we have more time, uh, obviously, via uh, Pastor Steve here, uh, to, to talk about many, many things. But for now, I want people to test something else that is beyond just the music. But before you start to preach, just do one song together, just a little, maybe less than a minute, just a song together for people. And then, and then, and then you can share something, pray for people. Somebody might be in trouble right now, maybe COVID, maybe they are heartbroken. As a man of God, just, just an opportunity to just minister to them. Okay. Okay. Um, we're, we're gonna do small, small. <laughs> small, small. That's okay. That's powerful. That's powerful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the next five minutes. Just minister to somebody who might need to hear All right. God. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, men of God. In the word of the Lord, in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 13, verse number 12, the Bible says that hope deferred or hope uh, um, delayed maketh the heart to be sick. Mm. But mm. when desire cometh, mm. it is the it is the, uh, the, 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 it is a tree of life. Now, now, when you look at that verse, you, you realize what we have been through, what we have gone through as, a, as the whole world. We have been through the pandemic, and a lot of us, we, we were hoping that we pray that this thing is over quickly. We pray that, hey, 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 these variants, these COVID-19, we were so much hoping that, hey, you know, I remember last year when we were around uh, the end of the year, towards around this time, and when everyone was so excited that at least it's about to end. And then when we got into the new year, three days down the line, we were hit by another wave and there was another lockdown, which took us maybe two or three months and we lost a lot of time and we lost a lot of relatives, jobs, you know, a lot of depression. But I, I, this verse gives us something, a, a, a glimpse of hope. It says, but when desire cometh, it is the tree of life. Now, when you look at something called a desire, because according to Mark chapter number 10 from verse number uh, 24, if I'm not mistaken, Jesus is speaking at a particular uh, occasion to his disciples. He says, whatsoever thing that you desire, when you pray, in other words, uh, desire supersedes prayer. Uh, desire becomes the bedrock of prayer. When one has a, a desire, uh, that's when you hear people say, I have a burden to pray for you. What they are just talking about is that God would have deposited a desire in, in someone's heart to just stand in the gap for you. Now, Jesus is saying that uh, what, so everything that you desire, uh, be it mm. that we want the, the world to go back to a place of normalcy. We want the, the world to go back to that place mm. where we used to fellowship and, and the presence of God would hit and would rejoice and the presence of the Lord and it was just amazing. Mm. Now, now, 
you need then to understand that when desire cometh, my God, it is a tree of life. There is a certain satisfaction that comes with desire. Yes. Because when oh, come desire on. comes, you know that this desire when it comes, because according to Mark chapter number 11, Jesus says when desire comes, the next thing that you do is you pray. And when you pray, you need to believe that you have received. After that you have received, you shall have it. In other words, he's giving us a formula that as, as we are today as the world, we have so many things that we are desiring. I don't know what you are desiring tonight. You might be desiring for, for a promotion at your workplace. You might be desiring that God use you from that disease. You might be desiring anything in your life, maybe for, for you to have a powerful and a wonderful Christmas. And that mm. desire, Jesus tells us that you need to just go before the Lord and pray and believe that you have received it. Yeah. And the word of the Lord in the book of Proverbs then says, when desire cometh, uh, when that fulfillment of that desire comes, mm. it is a true of Come on. Tonight, I don't know what you are praying for. I don't know what you are desiring. But what we are desiring right now on this life is that on the 5th of March, may the presence of the Lord touch our All right. lives and may things go back to normal. May the power of God hit that place. May Ooh. those who are sick, may this pandemic just be shut out and be closed in the name of Jesus. This is our desire. When we have this, because, wait a minute, let me explain a little bit something before I go. I, I, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Matthew chapter number 6, you hear Jesus, the disciples come, they, they came to Jesus and said, teach us how to pray as John has taught his disciples mm -hmm. how to pray. And, 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 and they say, and Jesus says to them, when you pray, I want you to say our Father who art in heaven. In other words, Jesus is God. telling them the words to use, a certain template. Mm -hmm. Now in this template, according to Mark chapter number 11, what we have just established, that desire comes before prayer. In other words, mm. Jesus is saying, when you pray, these are the words that I am giving you. This is my desire over you. Mm. Uh, when I mm. look at you, when you are going to kneel down and you are going to pray, mm. uh, when you are going to kneel down and you are going to ask anything from my father, no, no. That this is his desire. Mm. Now, mm. whenever we have a desire, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you have a desire, I know you might be watching me wherever you are. You have a, we also have a desire that you come in your number, fill that place, and the power of God will touch your lives. This is our desire. When we are going to have this, when we have this desire, and right now we want to pray and say, God, we believe that you are going to stop this pandemic. We Can't believe that you are going sire. to rejoice on that night. Mm -hmm. We believe that your presence shall touch the lives of people. Yes, we Lord. also believe that even the ones that are sick, they shall be healed. Those yes. that are bound, they shall be delivered. And this I'm... is what we believe. Tonight as I'm going to pray, I want, me, I want you to join me as we're going to pray in this place and say, God, because your word says, when we desire, we pray. When we pray, we believe. Okay. No, no, no. When we believe, we shall have it. We shall receive, number one. After receiving, then we shall have it. So I want us to pray tonight. Wherever you are, I would want to pray. In the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, tonight we pray. Mm. Spirit of the living God. You said it in your word, Jesus. That when we desire whatsoever thing that we desire, you, you did not give it a name. And right now we desire that on the 5th of March, Lord, may your people come from the north, from the east, from the west, mm. and from the south, mm. everywhere across the nation of the United Kingdom, even abroad. May they come, Lord, to witness your power, to mm. witness your might, to, to witness your hand over that auditorium in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we pray, Holy Spirit, tonight, in the name of Jesus, we believe it. Right now, therefore, we have spoken it. We believe it. For your word says, when you believe, you shall receive it. Tonight, we have it. In the name of Jesus. And surely, we are going to testify on the 5th of March that we prayed for it. And the Lord Jesus, you did it over our lives and we are grateful. We pray all of this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, men of God. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, what an honor, what an honor. You, you just reminded me, so, uh, last last week, last week, that one when we had Dr. Tumi here, he preached so powerfully, uh, so anointed, and tonight we got you. This goes to say, this one <laughs> is more than just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more than just a concept. It's not just a, a live recording. I see a revival. I see lives Amen. being transformed Amen. on this day. And I, I'm telling you, and I, I, I don't hesitate to say to people, even if you've got somebody who is sick, if you've got somebody who is not feeling well, don't say I'm not coming because I'm not feeling well. Come with your sickness. Come with your pain. Come as you are. I can see God performing miracles on this night. Um, Amen. It's been an honor having you here. Thank you so much. I know that the, the internet uh, from Zimbabwe is being a bit jealous of you because you're going to be coming here. But we thank God. All the same, God always prevails. Uh, do you need to say something? Just one word and then one word, Pastor Steve, and then we can go. Well, I just want to say thank you so much to, to, to Minister Elad and Mama Sharon Chirai. Thank you so much for taking time out to come and address our audience in UK because oftentimes people don't believe until they hear straight from the people talking themselves. So we really want to say thank you so much for taking time out and talk to us. And also to Minister Masbisa, I want to say thank you so much, Baba, for the job that you're doing. Uh, we really appreciate you and also for allowing your platform to, to really come and broadcast this. Amen. And for everybody tonight that tuned in, and we want to appreciate you. Thank you for taking your time out, for, for juicing, for buying airtime to come out. It's not the end of it. You have heard tonight, some of you are in Zimbabwe, you have got family here in the UK and you're not able to reach them. You are our vehicle, you are our connection tonight. So get hold of a family member here in the UK and let them know that Minister Elad and Mama Sharon are coming to the United Kingdom. And those that are in the United Kingdom, we have given you ample time, 5th of March, get a day off, book a hotel nearby, grab your ticket while there's time. Whether you want to buy for your husband as a Christmas present, do it while there's time because we are going to have a wonderful time in the presence of the lord tickets are already available baba masvise has already shared the link you can contact us you can inbox masvise you can inbox elad sherrod or dr Tumi. anyone in the team will be able to sign post you where to get the tickets but we are so excited and we are really, really looking forward and and as minister elad was saying you know as was we speaking and i was saying to minister masvise that you know as he talks he provokes so much in me because i'm a man of creativity and when people mm -hmm. speak i begin to build i, I right. build with words right. you know when i right. hear god speak i begin to put bricks i begin to see things mm. so i can tell you about my said that i can see minister uh, elad and his wife god using them in uk to yes. really transform and trend and do quite a lot here so i'm excited of what god is already beginning to shape in this country we thank God. We thank God. Say, I, 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 I feel something happening, something brewing in the in the spirit world, and I'm excited of of, of their visit. We will talk a lot more, and you see a lot more coming. Those of you uh, people in the UK, but get ready for this couple. They are going to explode in the UK as they come. So it, it's amazing. Do you want to say something before you go, Pastor Edna Mai Chirai? <laughs> Uh, we, we, we are just excited. Um, uh, we're just excited to be coming to the UK. We also wanted to thank you, uh, Pastor Musisa, for, for coming to this platform, for opening this platform for us. We are so grateful. Uh, God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Um, um, I know it's going to be amazing. We can't wait. We can't wait. And we can't, we cannot wait to come to the UK. Beautiful. Thank you so much. It's been an honor. Those of you who have tuned in, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. I've seen quite a number of people there. Uh, let me share this. The last comments that I've seen, they have a Tinashe Mark Pastor, you, Pastor Hussein, what a blessing. Appreciating you all. Uh, you can see people love you. People love you. And I want to say to everybody, another sign to show how much you love an artist is when they come be there let them see you in the audience because that's what makes these promoters want them to come back again because they know that when they come you the people that love them you the people that support them you actually come there to show your support 
and you see that they will be coming to you more often. So come to express, to show that you love them. But like I said when we were talking with Pastor Steve, when you're coming, you're not just coming to support. You're coming to have an experience. You're doing good for yourself. May God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. It's been an honor. And we are checking out for today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.